Welcome to ChemDoodle Shorts. I'm Mary, your ChemDoodle Pro. Let's learn about rotating fissure projections. A fissure projection is a simple two-dimensional drawing convention consisting of intersecting horizontal and vertical lines that retains the stereochemical information of chiral centers. It's particularly useful when depicting molecules with numerous chiral centers, such as glucose, shown here, which has four chiral centers. You've learned the basics of drawing and interpreting fissure projections. Now, let's learn some tips about rotating fissure projections to better utilize this notation. Let's start with a fissure projection for R-bromochlorofluoromethane. Only rotate a fissure projection by 180 degrees. If we rotate the fissure projection by 180 degrees, we get this. Recall the horizontal lines of a fissure projection are oriented toward us, out of the plane of the screen and the vertical lines are directed away from us, into the plane of the screen. Drawn with wedges and dashes, we can see how these two structures relate. In either structure, the hydrogen and bromine atoms are still horizontal, pointing toward us, and the chlorine and fluorine atoms are vertical, positioned away from us. Let's visualize our bromochlorofluoromethane in 3D to further our understanding of these two structures. With a starting perspective of hydrogen to the left of the carbon, bromine to the right, chlorine to the top, and fluorine to the bottom, let's rotate the 3D molecule by 180 degrees, just as we did previously with the 2D Fischer projection. Now it looks like the rotated 2D structure with bromine to the left and hydrogen to the right. Both of these atoms are coming out of the plane of the screen. In both the 3D model and the rotated 2D structure, fluorine is to the top, and chlorine is to the bottom. Both of these atoms are going into the plane of the screen, away from us. We see very clearly that these molecules are identical. Rotating a Fischer projection by 180 degrees results in the same molecule. However, rotating a Fischer projection by 90 degrees does not. Let's find out why not. When we rotate the Fischer projection by 90 degrees, we get this. Recall that horizontal lines are oriented toward us, so fluorine and chlorine have wedge bonds. Vertical lines are pointing away from us, so hydrogen and bromine have dashed bonds. Note that the atoms have switched positions. Hydrogen and bromine were horizontal, but are now vertical, and chlorine and fluorine were vertical, but are now horizontal. It's not really obvious whether these two structures are the same. To better visualize how the rotated 2D structure relates to the original structure, Let's look at the 3D model of r bromochlorofluoromethane Starting with the original 2D perspective, let's rotate the 3D model by 90 degrees, just as we did with the 2D Fischer projection. A 90 degree rotation gives us this, which looks similar to the rotated 2D structure. Fluorine is to the left of the carbon, chlorine is to the right, hydrogen is to the top, and bromine is to the bottom. However, in the 3D model, note that hydrogen and bromine are oriented toward us, not away from us. Similarly, in the 3D model, fluorine and chlorine are directed away from us, not toward us. So let's turn the 3D model to match the rotated 2D structure, such that the hydrogen and bromine atoms are going into the plane of the screen. In doing so, the hydrogen and bromine are both positioned away from us. Hydrogen is to the top, and bromine is to the bottom. Chlorine and fluorine are both coming toward us out of the plane of the screen. However, note the positions of these atoms relative to the carbon. In the 3D model, chlorine is to the left of the carbon, but in the rotated 2D structure, it's to the right. Similarly, the fluorine in the 3D model is to the right of the carbon, but in the rotated 2D structure, it's to the left. The positions of chlorine and fluorine are switched between the 3D model and the rotated 2D structure showing us that these molecules are not the same. Rotating a Fischer projection by 90 degrees does not produce the same molecule. In fact, if we reorient the original molecule and the rotated molecule so that the fluorine, carbon, and chlorine are in the plane of the screen, we see that these molecules are enantiomers of each other. They are mirror images. The molecule on the left is the R enantiomer, while the molecule on the right is the S enantiomer. Remember that rotating a Fischer projection by 180 degrees results in the same molecule. However, rotating a Fischer projection by 90 degrees doesn't. Instead, it yields the enantiomer. 
Thanks for watching Chemdoodle Shorts.